Hi everyone, it's the third Sunday of Easter. You know, just a few weeks ago, I celebrated Easter with my family. My mom was there, my brothers, my sister, their families. We had a super special meal. We had lamb, we had risotto, we had a special Italian Easter pie for dessert. We talked about really nice family memories and trips that are coming up and our plans for the summer. Have you ever had a special meal, special conversations like that with your family? You know, Jesus shared meals with his disciples, with his followers. And today we're gonna to hear about a meal that Jesus and his disciples shared together after Jesus rose from the dead. So let's listen in. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Luke. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. The disciples from Emmaus told what happened on the road and how they knew he was the Lord when he broke the bread. When Jesus' disciples were talking about what happened, Jesus appeared to them and said, Peace be with you. They were frightened and terrified because they thought they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus said, Why are you so frightened? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands and my feet and see who I am. Touch me and find out for yourselves. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones as you see I have. After Jesus said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. The disciples were so glad and amazed that they couldn't believe it. Jesus then asked them, do you have something to eat? They gave him a piece of fish. He took it and ate it as they watched. Jesus said to them, while I was still with you, I told you everything written about me in the law of Moses, the books of the prophets and in the Psalms that had to happen. Then he helped them understand the scriptures. He said to them, the scriptures say that the Messiah must suffer. Then three days later, he will rise from death. They also say that all people of every nation must be told in my name to turn to God in order to be forgiven. So beginning in Jerusalem, you must tell everything that has happened, the gospel of the Lord. And we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in the gospel reading today, who was there? Jesus was there his, in his resurrected body with his disciples, with his followers. And what did Jesus say to them? He started by saying, peace be with you. And what was their immediate reaction? They were terrified. Then they were joyful and amazed. And once they recognized who Jesus was. And what did um, the disciples then give Jesus to eat? A piece of fish. He was hungry. And after he ate, Jesus gave the disciples a mission. And that mission was to tell other people about his life, death, and resurrection and his message of God's love and forgiveness for all people. When we're old enough, we receive a special meal during mass. What, is, what do we call that special meal? We call it Holy Communion or the Eucharist. Jesus is present, truly present to us when we celebrate this sacrament and we receive God's grace to help us tell others about him. Is there something in today's gospel that you'd like to share with your family when you eat uh, a meal together later today? I hope that there is. Um, and mostly we need to remind people that Jesus loves us, he forgives us, and gives us peace. Jesus rose from the dead to bring us this peace and forgiveness to us and to others. And when we share that with others, we show that Jesus is here still with us today. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, that he may be blessed with gifts of integrity, courage, and humility as he feeds the flock the Lord has entrusted to his care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world. May the presence of Christ among his people bring lasting peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace of repentance, 
Help us to find the courage to receive the Lord's peace through the sacrament of reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children preparing to receive the Eucharist for the first time, may their enthusiasm for God never wane throughout their lives, and may they always recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering in any way, and for those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, and for all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Just a quick little prayer. Loving Father, as we present our prayers, draw us to Christ your Son and guide us always along the path of hope, forgiveness, and peace. We pray this and all things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.